we realized that just one technique on its own is not sufficient to answer the questions that we want to answer. We needed to combine two different techniques. And that's what resulted in this beast being built. The mitotic spindle is a self-organizing molecular machine that builds itself every single time that a cell has to divide. And its primary function is to separate the chromosomes into two daughter cells. The mitotic spindle is definitely very important when it comes to cell division. Failure to segregate chromosomes equally can result in cancer. The mitotic spindle is extremely important for this process to take place. And with our research, we're trying to understand the structure better. We're trying to understand what are the factors that regulate it, what determines its size, how is its function impaired. We found that contrary to popular belief, the spindle is as dense as its surrounding cytoplasm, which means that the density of molecules that are found within the spindle are actually very similar to what is found outside the spindle. It's a good example of a story coming out of failure because what happened was my thesis was not going the way that we were planning. And we were constantly trying to use one technique, but we were just unable to do the experiments we wanted. So then we started thinking about it reverse. We started reverse engineering the problem. We employed optical diffraction tomography, which is a quantitative phase imaging technique similar to a CT scan. You can see and do a lot more that you possibly did not even think of previously with this microscope. What you get out of this optical technique is three-dimensional refractive index distributions that can give you information about the mass and density of a sample. We also use confocal fluorescence microscopy, which can with very high specificity tell us the location of fluorescently labeled molecules in three dimensions. It's kind of like a little Lego set we have different components that we have gotten from different people, and people have actually been kind enough to just donate some of the components to us. Long story short, we just know very little still, and using techniques like this will allow us to actually get the amount of information that we need to better understand them.